Hey everyone, it's Veronica. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have a very exciting video and it's gonna be a college application tips and tricks, life hacks kind of video. I don't even know what to call it, but it's gonna help you through your college application process. And I'm gonna teach you guys some um, tips and tricks so you guys can get into a good school. I'm actually a senior right now and I'm going to college in the fall and there's actually a YouTuber who's going to go to the same school as me. She's my age and she's, I'm pretty sure going to the same school. So yeah, it'll be kind of cool, but I doubt we will ever see each other, meet each other. Whatever, you know what I mean. So my first tip is actually to apply as early as possible. Most of my classmates apply to around 20 schools. Everyone like stayed under 20, that's how much I applied to. I think I applied to 17 or 18 schools. But the number one tip, apply early because the earlier you get your application in, the better because first, you get it off your hands. Second, if it's rolling admission, then you obviously just want to get your application in. And another thing, if you aren't really sure about your number one school, then don't apply early decision. So there are two types of early um, application things. So number one is early decision, and that's if you get accepted, you have to go. It's like there's a binding contract, things like that. And I mean, if you really want to go to Yale, then apply ED to Yale, except if you're not 100% sure about Yale, then don't apply early decision there. You have to be 100% about your choice because there is no backing out. And EA, which I used and did and whatever, is early um, admission or early acceptance. I don't even know what it stands for, but it's EA. And you submit your application in like a month or two earlier before everyone else. And you get to know before Christmas, I think it's around December 15th. And there's no binding, like there's nothing like that except I feel like you just get a better chance because it is with a smaller pool of people. If you aren't 100% sure about one of your top schools, then you can just apply early admission because then you're going in with a smaller group of people, which means you're, you have less competitors. So I would definitely recommend that. You can either apply early if your stats are a little bit off, like a little bit lower than their average because then, like I said, it's a smaller pool of people. But if you have like really strong stats, then you become applicable for a lot of other scholarships and things like that. So that gives you a lot more opportunities and I think it's just better. My second tip is to reuse essays because most colleges have very, very, very similar essay prompts. For example, I think I wrote like less than seven essays in total. I had my two main essays, which I used to apply to my UCs because I do live in California. So in-state tuition is obviously better. So I obviously applied to the UCs, but then I also used those to apply to private schools and out-of-state schools like BU. I know BU, I had to write like a lot of different essays and a lot of supplemental essays. For supplemental essays, you can't really reuse those because you kind of have to cater them to the school specifically and what major you're applying to but I feel like for the main personal statements and essays like those then you can definitely reuse them. My third tip is to organize all of your schools in Excel. I would definitely recommend numbering the schools 1 through 20 whatever school it is and then in the different columns I would put the tuition, in-state, out-of-state, acceptance rate, average ACT, average SAT, um, essay prompt. I always have the link of my um, school on my excel and another thing that i always do is i put my username and password because you have to make so many different accounts it's so hard to keep track of your username and password for every single school so i would definitely recommend writing that down all in one place you should definitely keep track whether your application is submitted whether you got accepted or rejected or deferred or or if your counselor sent in your transcript things like those you have to keep track of them because my counselor kind of messed up for my high school counselor and she didn't send in a lot of my transcripts so that kind of screwed up some things especially the schools that i applied early for but see this is what i'm talking about i applied early to the schools and I found out that she didn't send in my transcript so then I just got pushed back to regular admission which is perfectly fine but I'm just saying if you apply early you kind of have like this buffer time space yeah my fourth tip you shouldn't just apply to the schools where you really 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 want to go to you have to apply to your reach schools your match schools and you have to have some safety schools your reach schools you are literally reaching for them because they're out of your reach kind of you know what I mean and like for example their ACT their average ACT might be a 35 but you have a 33 so you're a little bit lower and things like that and your GPA their average GPA might be like a 4.0 and you only have a 3.7 things like that so they are your reach schools they are dream schools so yeah definitely apply to them because it does not hurt and you might get accepted you never know so I would definitely recommend applying to them and you should also apply to some match schools because you need to fit into their average GPA their average SAT their average test scores and things like that comfortably because then you know you are kind of um, because then you know you have a greater chance of getting accepted into those schools and third you have to apply to safety schools safety schools are so important because you really never know what's gonna happen maybe it's just that counselors bad day and they don't want to let you in it's just good to have backups and good to have options and you never know what's gonna happen you might even get accepted into your safety school but because your stats are so high they might give you a full ride or something so you never know and that full ride might just be the deciding factor on whether or not you go to that school instead of another school. 
My last tip is if you are deferred, then you should definitely appeal your decision. And I'm just going to use like UCs, for example, because a lot of people do apply to them. For example, if you get accepted into Irvine and San Diego, for example, but you really want to go to LA or Berkeley, except because you did get deferred, you obviously have to SIR to another school because you have to commit somewhere because you cannot count on them accepting you afterwards. You have to SIR somewhere. Oh, and for those who don't know, SIR just means that you are signing the contract. You are agreeing to go to their school and it's a contract and you have to go things like that and you pay like uh, ew I feel like throwing up and for those who don't know what SIR means it just means that you have to go to that school after you sign the contract for example you have to pay like one or two hundred dollars for the commitment fee I don't really know what it's called but you do have to pay a small chunk of money so they know that you're not gonna back out and actually the final date to SIR is May 1st and I know um, you have until like June to find out whether or not you got into the schools that you got deferred from and then afterwards You can make your decision based on where you got accepted into after they deferred you. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Oh and another thing be yourself Make sure you let your personality show through your essay and your answers I know a lot of schools also ask you like simple questions like like what's your favorite movie or what do you like? What are your hobbies things like that? So make sure you let your personality shine through and another thing is that you guys should always do what's optional because you always want to give yourself more chances more you just want to give them like more things to judge you on I don't know that sounds like really weird but you just want them to get to know you better so always do what's optional because obviously the top students I feel like will turn everything in so you're gonna be competing with them you might as well do it hopefully you guys find this video helpful don't forget to be yourself and let your personality shine through I'm sure you guys will do fine it is very hectic and time-consuming and very stressful while you're working on your college apps except don't worry it will pass and once you get those acceptances in the mail it will all be worth it obviously college and education is very very important it is priceless and hard work does pay off so I just want to wish you guys luck and I hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye